and point meet number with that. three: the things you need to ask a lender when you get involved. How do they handle appraisals? Yeah, this is really critical. There was a bunch of new um, rules that came out about appraisals, yeah. and these appraisal management companies came into being where they're basically um, trying to separate the loan people from the appraisers, which mm-hmm. is a good thing. Yeah. But what's happened is these management companies want to make a profit. The so middle be- man. Right. So because of that, they're not paying the appraisers as much mm. yeah. to do the appraisal. Mm. Well, in anything, if you're getting paid less, you're right. going to work You're going to work less. less. Yeah. Right, cuz so, you've got to do more appraisals to get the same amount of money. Right. So you can, so you can't spend more yeah. time on them than right. than it's not feasible to spend a lot of time on them. So you have to go through and do it quickly. You're not going to do the digging that's necessary sometimes to get the accurate value right. for the customer. And this can make a huge difference. It could be the difference between you getting the home so, and not. So what are you doing that's different than that? Well, we actually have a group of local appraisers, a preferred list of appraisers. Yeah. Now, I'm not able to handpick an appraiser no, no. for your particular transaction, right. but because we have this preferred list of handpicked appraisers that know the area they're going to appraise in, right. it makes all the difference it in does the world. Make, listen, I'm a real estate broker, and what you're talking about is a big deal. To be able to have professionals that are going to give you a quality appraisal, so that's a great feature. But number four on the list now, you should ask, how long you been doing this? Right, we already covered this.